Hello. All right. Imagine yourself in an emergency situation where you would need to perform CPR to save another person's life. Now imagine you don't know what to do. How scary of a scene is that? Well, let's take the steps now to have a better outcome. Bill Spurbeck and Sean Kimball are, are here with an opportunity where we can be prepared. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, I call this life saving information, which is absolutely true. Uh, what are some of the reasons why it is so important for CPR besides that obvious? Well, just statistically, the number one killer in our country today is heart disease. And the number of cardiac arrests are over half a million a year right now in our country. And so by taking the time for about two and a half hours, you can truly learn how to save a life with CPR. And, and, and we're talking about these CPR classes. We're going to dive into that more uh, a little bit later. But how often do you um, offer these courses? We offer the courses six days a week, day, evening, and weekend. So they are available both on the northwest side of town and centrally located. So they are convenient to attend. And we are offering a promotion with today's program so people can come and learn CPR. Another good uh, reason, reason to go out and do it now yeah, is yes. because we have uh, that discount that we're going to be telling everyone about. And I know we've got um, some of the, I guess, are these CPR, I don't want to say dummies, is that in mm -hmm. Mannequins, absolutely. Mannequins, mm -hmm. sorry, mannequins. <laughs> um, I know we're going to be talking about AEDs, but I also want to talk about hands-on CPR. What does that mean when we say hands-on? Well, well, we found through statistics that when we taught folks CPR in the past, one of the big drawbacks is people didn't want to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth okay. because they're like, I don't know this person, I don't know what's going on. So what we found is that when you do chest compression only or you teach chest compression only, people are more opt to actually hop in and do that. And with the compressions, they're circulating around the blood. They're also giving passive breathing at the same time. Okay, so, so are you saying that kind of removes that portion of the CPR that people are normally... It does until we get a barrier device in there. If somebody, okay. somebody can still obviously do mouth to mouth if they feel comfortable with that. Uh, we do have a couple of barrier devices that we have, uh, which will cover it up so it does not pass any fluids through the mouth. Okay. But absolutely, um, you can do C if you do compression only CPR, it's still very beneficial for the individual. So we're going to learn all of that in these courses. And I did mention uh, an AED because I noticed that you guys have this at the end of the table. What is this? This is called an automatic external defibrillator. That's what the acronym stands for. If you've ever watched any type of emergency show where they're like, everyone clear, we're going to shock. Oh, yes. This is the layperson's device for that. So basically what it is is you place the pads on there. You turn it on when you get here, and the first thing it does is it walks you through the whole process. Um, but what we do is we actually uh, uh, take you through a little bit further ha by having you do the hands-on in the class when we do that. But these are located in airports, they're located uh, on ships, on buses, they're coming to schools, big box stores, uh, stadiums. These things are saving people's lives. So you guys are going to teach everybody what this is, what to do. It's all going to be a portion of the knowledge that we're going to have. I know we have them here right here in our own yeah, building. You have many hallway. You have two Absolutely. of them here. Yeah, so I'm familiar with them because I see them every day. To be honest, I wouldn't really know what to do if I did need to use it. So I even need the information that you guys have to, have to offer. Absolutely. Um, and I'm not going to say how old I am, but how old do you have to be in order to take one of these courses? We like to see them about 10 years of age. 10 years, okay. Yeah, uh, 10 years of age is a good age. Uh, We've trained people younger than that, but a good average age is 10 years of age. And I think 10 is good because that's kind of that pre-area where a lot of people may start babysitting. Mm -hmm. um, and this is going to be important for maybe young kids when they're babysitting. Correct. Uh, in fact, uh, Drexel Heights Fire District is offering free babysitting classes this summer. So part of the course is learning CPR and how to use the AED and how to contact 911. And I'm sure you guys get a lot of questions. Is one of them, is there any legal thing that comes along if I do learn CPR? Uh, nobody's actually been successfully sued for doing CPR on somebody. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure this is a legal situation for a lot of people that don't want to get involved, but if you're trying to help somebody out, you're usually covered by the Good Samaritan Law. Most yeah. states have something that's equivalent to the Good Samaritan Law. Um, if you get on the chest and start doing compressions, you're going you're gonna to be in good shape. Okay, so. And, and even more importantly, just uh, last year, the uh, Arizona was the 39th state to pass legislation that says starting next year to graduate high school in Arizona, a student has to take a CPR class. Really? Yes. We're you know what? Thirty-nine state to, to pass that legislation. That's great for the whole community. Yep. Uh, something that I d had not thought about. So this is perfect. And I know you have brought two different kinds of mannequins mm -hmm. because you guys are going to go through the CPR for an adult and for a baby, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, which one do you want to start with? Oh, we can start with the adult right in front the of adult? you here. The adult? Okay. So um, the American Heart Association actually breaks it down to three different age categories. Obviously, we have the adult. We also have the infant over here, which is anybody that's considered less than one year of age. Okay. The child would be anybody that falls greater than one year of age all the way up to puberty. 
So for our adult over here, basically what we uh, have our folks do is we uh, have them expose the chest all the way down to the skin. We want them on a hard surface. Going to place our hands basically on the lower half of the breastbone, interlock our fingers, and you're just going to do a compression down two inches when you do that. So it would be kind of along this process right here. And that's about the rate that you would like to go. And we said this last time you were here that some people say to get a rhythm, you sing. There's different songs people say that you can Absolutely. sing to, to remind you uh, the rhythm to do it, right? One of the ones that they like for you to sing is uh, Staying Alive. Yes, and Absolutely. that kind of keeps you at the mm -hmm. rhythm. So do we do this and then we still teach them when to do the mouth to mouth? Absolutely. Uh, we would usually do about 30 compressions and we would do what we call two ventilations or breath by tilting the head back. If uh, you're taking the heart saver, which is one for non-medical personnel, you'd actually plug the nose, open up the airway, place your mouth around the mouth and give a breath until you observe the chest rise and you'd give two breaths. So 30 compressions to two ventilations as you do that and then you go right back to doing compressions. What's the difference with the infant. So for our infant, we don't want to use our whole hand on this. Basically what you have here is you can see that the, the infants have nipple lines here. So what we want to do is we want to basically go right below the nipple line right in the middle and that's because their little sternum is about the size of my pinky right here. Okay. So we'd want to place our fingers on that and what you want to do on that is push down one and a half inches as you do that as well. Same ratio that you want to do but the difference on this one here, we wouldn't pinch their little nose. We're going to put our mouth over their nose and mouth. We're going to give a breath. Not as big as a breath as we would give with the adult until we observe their little chest rising also. This is just a little bit of information that Absolutely. we've already given out to people right now is going to be something that someone's going to use at some time, but these courses are so much more in depth and they're going to give everybody those tools that they need. Yes, being paramedics in our community for over 30 years, uh, people ask, well, how do you save a life? You want to save a life? Take a CPR class. Easy as that. I'm going to remind them how they can, and of course, remind them of that discount we were talking about earlier uh, as well. But gentlemen, thank you so much just for the little bit of education that you've already given us. Absolutely. All right, you guys, CPR to you will offer a 50% discount to the first 100 people who register using the promo code Morning Blend. Call now to reserve your spot at 400-8204 or visit CPRTU.com for information.